Right then, I'm going to take you for a 360 degree video drive in the Audi A6. Now this is best viewed on mobile. You just move your phone or the tablet around to have a good look around this car's cabin. Okay, so obviously the A6 has been around for a while now and it's due for replacement soon. But in terms of the interior, it's still feeling pretty modern and you know, it was always a good quality car and it still feels it even today. Some of the things are less modern. For instance, the buttons down here are a bit fiddly. That screen's all right though. See if I can make it operate while I'm driving. There we go, look. I like the fact it's motorized, not just stuck on. Though most people will always leave it up. I shall try and negotiate my way through the systems, which is quite easy. Out system's pretty good. And I quite like the fact that this car, if you look here with the driving instruments, you've got analog dials, but in between them, you've got a kind of quasi Audi virtual co cockpit like you, well, well, like you have on the Audi TT. So you've got sat nav there in front of you and you know your phone and all that. But you do have analog dials either side of it. On the whole, it's a nice cabin. It, it's stylish, it's not overstated. It does its job and it feels comfortable and well built. And this car is actually really good to drive. Surprisingly, it's a manual, but Audi's manual gearboxes are quite nice to use. Yeah, and it's front wheel drive, but for most people, most of the time, they're not gonna notice that unless they floor the car out of a corner and it's wet, and then the front wheels will struggle to put down the power. And under the body of this one, it's the 190 horsepower, two liter diesel. And it's a nice, smooth engine, got sufficient performance, and it's not too loud. This car has a bit more tire roll, let's say, than the Mercedes C-Class and more wind whistle off here. In terms of visibility, all these cars are pretty much the same. It's not too bad at all for a saloon. Decent view out the back window, good visibility out the side. And it's a nice car to drive. It's reasonably comfortable. You're not going to be unhappy with it. And it actually holds the road very well. Also, the steering, it's pretty direct and sharp. It's not quite as much fun as a BMW 5 Series or Jaguar XE, but it's still a good, solid saloon car, which feels suitably upmarket. There we go, I hope you enjoyed that quick tour in the Audi A6, which is due for replacement, I think sometime next year, 2017. Anyway, if you want more information on this car, please click in the top right-hand corner of the screen on the card, and there you go. You'll be able to go see our full review of it if you like.